Welcome back. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about the present continuous tense and in particularly how to form the present continuous. Now, just so you know, if you have read any other textbooks, this tense is sometimes known as the present continuous, but I have also seen it called the present progressive tense. So it doesn't matter which name is used, it's still referring to the same tense. The reason that it's known as a continuous tense or a progressive tense is because it's an action that is happening right now. The present continuous tense is easily identifiable by its form. In particular, if you see an ing verb, then you can sort of think that it's using some type of the continuous tense. But in more detail, you need a to be verb and a verb with an ing ending. So to recap your memory, the to be verb in the present tense is m is are, and then on top of that you just need a verb with an ing ending. So here are some examples of how it is used in the positive. I am skiing, you are walking, she is singing, we are dancing, they are drinking, it is raining. To form the negative, you just add not after the to be verb. So I am not skiing, you are not walking, she is not singing, we are not dancing, they are not drinking, it is not raining. Now to form yes no questions, we basically switch around the first two words of the positive form. So first one we've got am I skiing, in the positive form it's I am skiing. Uh, next, are you walking? In the positive form, it could be you are walking. So now it's are you walking? Is she singing? Are we dancing? Are they drinking? Is it raining? And lastly, to form WH questions, just put the WH word in the front. Where am I skiing? Why are you walking? How is she singing? When are we dancing? Where are they drinking? Why is it raining? And that is all you need to know about the forms of the present continuous tense.